Hello, this is Chef and Nick at the Sun Valley Auto Club. We've got a 1992 Porsche in front of us and we've sold probably 70 over the last three years, 964 specifically, and this one's right at the top of the heap. So this is a 92 we picked up out of Chico, California, 116,000 miles on the car. This is a <clears throat> C2 Tiptronic, so shiftable automatic, uh, three point six uh a six cylinder of course and this is just a stunning car tip to tail and that's what this video uh will show you i happen to be in california when this gentleman contacted us so took the extra two hour trip up to chico based on a few photos he had it didn't disappoint uh nick and i've got a lot more photos so you can base your your impressions on more than just a couple cell phone photos, but this one does stand out. So it's got the knockoff uh, C uh, cup, cup wheels uh, on there, so they're not the original cups. You usually find those on ROWs, but a very tasteful upgrade. Always been uh, guard's red color. This has had one repaint, which isn't hard to uh, imagine because with 116, the paint is perfect, the body is phenomenal on this. All of your gaps, all of your lines are, are just stunning. Uh, rust free, we've had it up in the air. Checks out really, really well. That uh, rear light bar has been replaced, but all of your lenses, glass, greenhouse, etc., uncurved wheels, undamaged body, it's just it just goes on and on. Uh, we've got service records, not all the way back, but um, over the last decade, we'll, we'll go ahead and pull those out and show you, but um, over the last decade, at like 103,000 miles was an engine out service, valve adjustment, etc. The AC system was gone through a couple years ago. It's got new, um, new shocks and uh, springs on the car. So the suspension is ultra tight. So lots of, lots of good ownership, lots of good maintenance. Uh, Nick, show you around the interior. So sunroof coupe, shiftable automatic, damage free interior. This one's been garage capped. You can tell that by how tight the headliner is. There's no sag. The dash is absolutely tight. No waves, no cracks. Same with the uh, original wheel. The door cards are near perfect. All your gauges are bright. We've seen plenty of uh, plenty of those cars. Typically we don't get quite as nice of a car. Uh, we source for Singer. So we are trying to take the uh, the bottom of the 964 uh, offerings and then they'll get a uh, an amazing second life by being turned into a Singer supercar. This one is just too nice. I know a lot of people don't like Tiptronics but regardless of Tiptronic or not, this one is so fun to drive. Tiptronics in general, um, I enjoy. You can just kind of focus on the road. Um, they are shiftable, but you can just feel the power, feel the suspension. Speaking of suspension, it does have uh, new Bilstein shocks as well. And this one, here's some of your, here's some of your records that I was referring to. So all that information other than being able to have the car up in the air and go through it and see what we've got. It is really well documented as well. So, and that goes back to 2011. So it doesn't go back as far, oh wait a minute, delivery date. That was printed in 11 to 2009. So missing quite a bit, but you can certainly see its, its service over its last couple owners. 
Nice, uh, nice little piece of carpet. Back there, usually everybody rides around with the seats down. Not much room back there. You've never seen one of those little carpet layovers. Nice touch. Your speaker, your speaker cover is in fantastic shape. So really tidy here. I don't know if the uh, there's too much glare, but you see all your TIG welds on both sides, clean as day. Uh, so there's no accident damage. You usually see that kind of puttied up, bondoed, funky welds. None of that going on with this car. This one's just laser straight. AC was worked over. It's a new compressor. They did a lot more than just the compressor. Uh, heat switches, valves, etc. Uh, with a steering wheel removed. So your AC blows cold. And then this one, we'll jump in and drive it, but it does have a little extra getting up and go. I'm usually not a big fan of chips. This one does have a performance chip in it, and it does get the most out of this Tiptronic and out of the 3.6. So we're at elevation here. Um, I could feel it a lot more down at, uh, at Chico at sea level, but um, still, even at 5,300 feet, this one has just snap that I usually don't feel out of a 964. Let's take a look underneath the, the bonnet. Nick, you want to show off that passenger side seat? Did we open that up yet? Yeah, absolutely. So both the uh, rear engine cover struts work, the front uh, struts work as well. You've got your factory options and sticker there. Lights working. We've got our toolkit displayed. So this one's well sorted with the pump, your spare uh, spare tire, and no rust erosion on the uh, on the underside there we'll have some under photos going up with this vehicle as well but your frame reels certainly no crinkles this vehicle has no accident history oh uh, one thing I forgot to point out when we're in the uh, in the engine compartment it does have the upgraded engine mounts um, RS engine mounts as well those were installed when that engine out service um, with 103,000 miles occurred. So just a no surprise car. Typically, we go through and show you lights and brights. Those all work. Let's spend the time on the road driving this. If you're uh, coming from afar, you want to make another go back and just run through signals and lights. We're happy to do that, but uh, Let's stop talking, Jack. So typically on 964s, you're going to see uh, warning lights come up and then as soon as you drive at a hundred feet or so they go off unless you do have a system warning this one is clean from warning lights of any sort usually you'll see an ABS light come on uh, the system needs to pressurize but this one's just dialed and ready. So that's the 
fun of the automatic, just keep both hands on the wheel and jam. Great stopping, no turn of the wheel, no pulling of the car. That was just a hands-free stop. Or you can reach out to Nick at 563-676-8225. Right, thanks for watching.